Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I've come back to the city of Stirling and where I'm actually going to be going for this video is the Stirling Smith Museum and Art Gallery which is more on the, kind of the edge of the city, city centre. Uh, again, I don't think it's really that far from the, the castle but again, Stirling isn't that big a city. But again, this is somewhere within Stirling that I've not been to before. I did try and come here earlier on this year, but there was a lot of roadworks that I couldn't quite get to the museum itself. So, parked up quite close to the museum, so I'm going to head on in in just a moment and have a, a wee wander around. Before I do head in, if you are enjoying my channel, if you're enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's TikTok account and the PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. And I, think, I think there is a website for the Smith Museum and Art Gallery, so I'll try and link that in as well to, so you can have a little nosy at what they've got up on the website. So with that out the road, I'm going to grab my things and head on out. Yeah, so they have a wee cafe inside. So this is the museum here. Also used to be called the Smith Institute, but now is the Smith Museum and Art Gallery. And I do love this wee thing they've got here on the pavement. The wee quote from Burns. Here Stuart wants and glory reigns, and laws for Scotland's will ordained. Also, it's got the Scottish thistle, and it's got a wee representation of the Battle of Stirling Bridge. That's quite a nice wee touch. This is the public open times. So the museum is closed all on the Monday and Tuesdays. It's open the rest of the week. Some of the posters for the previous exhibitions. This one's back in 2005, which has been the 700th anniversary of William Wallace's execution. And yeah, I'm so disappointed that I never actually got to see that. That'd be a good one. Well, this is me just going into the main part of the museum itself. I did have to turn the the audio off on this because there was a, a kind of video playing elsewhere within the museum and I kept picking up the audio of that so yeah I didn't really want to get a copyright strike on that. So this is uh, the bit of the museum that has uh, the art collection so you can see there's a wide variety of different artwork and art styles on display. Yeah, so this is the bit where they focus more on history, especially the history of Stirling. And they've actually got, I think it's the, the famous bust of Blind Harry, who is the poet that wrote The Wallace, which is what Braveheart is based on. And I hadn't realised until I was in today that it was actually sculpted by Alexander Stoddart. And they also have... Uh, artifacts that have been found within the Stirling area, including some whalebone, which actually found think, in the fourth itself. And they also have some of the archaeological artifacts that have been found in the area. And they also have like some Roman displays as well, because there was some Roman archaeology found in the area. Again, even though at the end of the time Wallace has been like the extent of the Roman Empire, the Romans actually did get 
up into like hang on Perthshire. It's also they've got the Stirlingshire as well, and the Dead's Press further north than that as well. And they also have some stuff looking at medieval Stirling as well. And this uh, bust here that you can just see on the, the edge of the video is said to represent Robert the Bruce, who was also King Robert the First, King of Scots. So he was the one that fought at Bannockburn. So there's a probably more famous image to associate with uh, Robert the Bruce. And the, the little miniature statue up there at the right is a miniature of the the Ibra Wallace statue, which is down the Scottish borders. And they've got this uh, mannequin here that they've actually made up to look like how Wallace is described in the poem The Wallace. So it definitely doesn't look like how he's portrayed in Braveheart. And they also have this display, where they have the world's oldest football. And that's it there. Well, I'll be back at the car from visiting the Sorling Smith Art Gallery and Museum. <coughs> Definitely a wee kind of interesting place. Uh, I don't know how many people actually know that that art gallery is there. Uh, I think a lot of people, when they come to Sorling, they'll go to the castle, they'll go right to the, the Wallace Monument, they'll spend a lot of time in the old town. But I don't know how many people actually, when they're coming to visit, come this far out and, and come across the Smith Museum. And I would recommend, like, yeah, if you are in, in Stirling, definitely stop off at this museum, art gallery, and have a wee explore. They, they definitely pack a lot into the, the building that they have. There's definitely a lot to see and a lot to explore about while you're in the museum itself. So hopefully you'll have been intrigued by the Smith Art Gallery and Museum and you know, if you are in Stirling you'll come along for a visit. So with that, hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.